I've spent a full 10 months at this point traveling with my online business on various trips around Europe, Asia, North America as well. And here is really how I did it. I wanna share with you the shift that I made to have this freedom and also have this income at the same time as well because the really exciting part is my business has fully single-handedly funded all of these trips i've been on 17 now international remote work trips my business paid for every single one and i think the really exciting thing here is that i've been able to build a lot of this freedom in my business to be able to take these trips in the first place and to go see all these places and do all of these things and have all these experiences but at the same time as well be able to make a really great income to actually be able to afford to do that in the first place and also do that while not sacrificing on anything else. I'm able to make investments. I'm able to grow my wealth at the same time. I'm not needing to choose between those. So I'm gonna break down really the key shift that created this because there was one key shift which led to me creating the business that actually could support this in the first place and was really sustainable for this as well. The best thing, as I said, was I didn't have to choose between these things. I was very much able to have both of these and at the same time my income while i was traveling did not dip it actually has increased as i've been traveling more it's only grown and i'm a huge believer i share about it consistently um, that you get to have both of these things and i think this is really just great evidence for this and just really living proof essentially of this idea that you can actually have both of these things at the same time now the key mindset shift firstly here because there was a mindset and a strategy side that went into this the key mindset shift here really is that it's not an either or situation that you're not actually ever in business especially as a business owner when we are literally creating the rules ourselves no one is telling us how much we can charge what we can offer how we have to do things when we have to work anything like that you are the one literally creating this reality here but it is so easy for us to get stuck in the mindset that we have to either hustle really hard get all the goals achieve all the growth make all the progress or on the other hand, we can choose to take it easy and relax and be restful and have all the freedom and travel and explore and all those things. And often we get this narrative that you can pick one or the other, that it's this or this, but I have always in my mind focused on the idea of both of those things because ambition and freedom are probably my two top values in life and they actually do get to go together. So I've always been so focused on finding a way to achieve both of those things and just not being willing to compromise on that as well. And especially as a business owner, as a service provider who is literally setting the rules yourself, you are creating the rule book every single day in your business, you have the power to say, okay, I want to prioritize both of these things, so I'm going to find a way that these are both going to happen. And that's a really important mindset shift in terms of how I created this. It's just actually being open to and looking for a way to have both of these things at the same time and not feeling like you have to actually pick between one or the other because that is not the reality. That's not the case. It has to be one or the other. And then on the strategy side, this is really important. I decided that early on in my business, to have these, the really key ingredient that I needed was simplicity. I needed things to be really, really simple in my business because I don't have time to be doing a task and it taking me four hours when it could take me two hours if I just simplified it a little bit. I want things to be as easy as possible. I want things to be as simple as possible. So I focused from day one in on simplicity and that's how, and a huge part of how I teach it to my clients as well, we can actually make more and work less at the same time. And I always call this strategic simplicity. Now, this is the idea of it's not just making things simpler as in saying, right, I want to work less, so I'm just gonna cut out some things and cut out the things I don't like and you know, just chop off some things off of my to-do list. That could work, but also we're potentially then risking cutting the income from that perspective. But if we are strategically simple in our business, that means we're looking at, okay, what is actually not going to have that much of an impact that I can cut? What is the, you know, 80% of work that I'm doing, which is contributing 20% of my results right now? And can that be the thing which I'm cutting so that I'm not actually cutting back on what I'm making, but I'm able to work less and still get the same results, giving me more time then to actually focus on those money-making activities. So that was a really important strategy shift for me was actually just focusing in on being really simplistic with everything that I was doing and actually focusing on the areas which were making money in the first place and which were the 
big result bringers essentially in my business. So that is the story of kind of what went into this, of how I've actually been able to travel with my business so much, how I've actually done this and how I've actually built this up. If you found this helpful, if you're also looking to travel with your business, make sure you give this a like below and make sure you subscribe so you do not miss the daily videos. And on that note, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.